Heck yeah, um, still not really, you know, the crew's still needs a bit of work, it feels really heavy, you know, and out of balance, but, you know, it is what it is, and, um, you know, it, it still feels okay, so, uh, with, with side and screw and all that, so it's, um, it's, it's, it's playable, you know. Ronnie, hi, Stephen here, um, very well done from, from 9-6 behind, when Barry was in, looking like one in 10-6, I, I know what probably triggered inside you, but what, what explain to the people, what, what sparked you to make that unbelievable clearance to stay in the match? I know it's just, I, I know it might sound mad, but I was just looking for a cue action from start to finish, you know, I was like, I felt like I was like uh, swinging my arm at everything, it just felt like it didn't even, my arm didn't even belong to my body, so um, I sort of found something that's 7-5, and I thought, oh, if I can keep this going, that'd be great, but then I didn't get a shot from... Uh, about seven six to nine six, I didn't really get a shot, you know, and uh, so I thought, you know, as long as I get a chance and I feel like I'm queuing all right, I should should be alright. I just sort of trained, changed my trajectory of um, how I was attacking the ball, and uh, I felt like I was a bit, I could be a bit more positive with it. So um, you know, I just started playing with a little bit more confidence, which is um, which is just sort of looking for really. Yeah, hi Ronnie, it's Ken here. Uh, I mean, the, I think the big shot in that last frame was the red that you played into the yellow pocket. You really sized up for it. You looked at a few different shots, but once you made your mind up, I mean, that was probably the shot of the match for me. The way how, how well you got through it and got on the blue and sort of made enough for for Barry to need a snooker. How did you feel and what was your thought process on that particular shot? Um, I was just trying to look at the scores and think, you know, if I get three reds, three pinks, does he need snookers and? Um, I'd done my maths and I thought, no, it's not enough. I still need the red on the side cushion. It wasn't until I potted the first pink and got onto the, you know, to take my second red that I really looked at the score and I thought, oh, if I get two pinks, I can go 36 in front. So um, I probably would have still gone for it even if I, um, whatever the situation was, because it there wasn't really an easy shot. And you don't want to start bailing out, you know, um, that was probably the right shot to play. Um, so, um, but yeah, I suppose there was a little bit less pressure on it because I thought I would still need the red on the side cushion. Maybe if I thought I just needed the three reds and the pink, I'd have probably twitched it like I was twitching most things today. You know? And it worked out on Barry, Ronnie. He played well today, put you under a bit of pressure. Yeah, he deserved to win, really, you know, and um, I feel for Barry because obviously, um, you know, he's been grasping at his game. I know he's been working hard this year and, you know, he's been unlucky in a, a few results and, um, you know, he deserved that victory tonight, you know, just for his, his effort he's put in all season and um, it's a horrible way to lose, but hope, hopefully he doesn't, you know, he can respond from that and uh, and, and start still, you know, because he played great today, you know, he, look, he looked great, you know, he's queuing good, he looked confident, you know, he outplayed me really, I just kind of just um, got out of jail. And here you are in another final at Celtic Manor, do you like it here? Yeah, well, it's a lot better than Milton Keynes, Cat Category A prison, that Milton Keynes, mate. Uh, I've, had, I've seen enough of them over the years. I, you know, I spent far too long there, you know. No, that's a, that's a sad gaff, you know. Um, didn't enjoy that towards the end, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to come to a nice resort where it's nice and, you know, food's good and, you know, you can actually see some greenery and some trees and, you know, it's just it's just a nice place, you know. Um, Milton Keynes is um, it's not the best place, but it, it, it served its purpose and done what it done, but, you know, it can send you a little bit crazy after a while, you know. Well, listen, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks very much, Ronnie. Ciao. Ciao for now.